Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to understand what is an environment variable, how we set them in Express and how we use them. Keep in mind that Node.js or Express apps can run in different environments. The two most important environments are development environment and production environment. So depending on the environment, we might use different databases, for example, or we might turn logging on or off, or we might turn debugging on or off depending on which environment we are using. So basically, we can do all kind of different settings that might change depending on the environment that we are in. Again, the two most important environments are development and production environment. There can also be other type of environments which is used by bigger teams, but here we are mainly going to talk about development and production environment. So these kind of settings which I mentioned earlier, like using different databases or turning logging on or off, these settings will be based on environment that we are using. By default, Express sets the environment to development and we can actually take a look at this environment variable. For that, let's open this server.js file and here before we are creating the server, let's go ahead and let's use a console.log statement and in there, we want to log the environment variable. So for that, we are going to use a method called get on this app variable and to this app method, we are going to pass env. So this env is a variable name and this variable is going to give us the environment that we are in. So if I go ahead and if I save the changes, here you will see in the terminal development has been logged. That means we are in the development environment. Okay, so when we are logging the value of this env variable, it is logging development. That means we are in the development environment. Now, here you might ask why I'm using this console.log statement inside the server.js and not inside the app.js. That's because if you remember earlier, we have learned that we are going to use this app.js for express related thing. Now, environment variable is not something which is related to express. It is something related to node.js. Okay, so everything which is related to application and not to express.js that we are going to write inside this server.js and that's why I have used this console.log statement inside this server.js file and not inside this app.js file. All right. Now, this env variable itself, it is set by Express, but Node.js itself sets a lot of environment variables. Okay. In summary, environment variables are global variables that are used to define the environment in which Node app is running. This env is an environment variable which is set by Express.js. But Node.js also sets a lot of environment variables. And if you want to have a look at those environment variables, then let me copy this line of code and I will comment it here. I will keep it for your reference. And here, let's write another console.log statement. And there, instead of passing this inv, what we are going to do is we are going to call this process. And on that process, we have this env variable. Okay. And here, now if I go ahead and save the changes, in the terminal, you will see a bunch of environment variables. Okay, so all these properties which you see here, these are basically the environment variables. This path is an environment variable. This OS is an environment variable. Okay, so all these things which you're seeing here, these are environment variables, which is set by Node.js. Most of these environment variables are used by Node.js internally. Now, these variables, they come from the process module. Process is the core module of Node.js. And these environment variables were set the moment we started the process. Okay, so as soon as we start the process, the process basically means as soon as the server starts and we are starting the server by typing npm start command, right? Or by typing node space server.js. So when we type this command and when we press enter, it starts the server. Basically, it starts the process. So as soon as the process starts, these environment variables are set. Also, if you notice, in order to use this process module, we don't even need to require it. It is simply available everywhere automatically. Okay, for example, in order to use this express module, we need to require it. In order to use the FS module, Again, we need to require it, but in order to use this process module, we don't even need to require it. That's because it is available everywhere automatically. All right. So when we call this in variable on this process, 
it is going to return us all the environment variables which has been set. So here we can see all those environment variables. And these environment variables are set as soon as we start the Node.js process. To start the Node.js process, we are using the command nodemon space server.js or we can also use the command npm space start. So no matter which command we are using, as soon as the node process starts, these environment variables are set. All right. Now, when we are using Express.js, in Express.js, there are many packages that depends on a special variable called node underscore in. It is a variable which should define whether we are in the development or in the production mode. However, Express does not really define this variable implicitly. We as a developer has to define that variable manually. And there are multiple ways in which we can do it. The simplest way is by using the terminal. So here again, I will stop this server. I will stop this process by pressing Ctrl C. Okay. Now here, we want to set an environment variable. For that, we need to use this set. And the environment variable which we want to set is node underscore env. And we want to set it to development. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's press enter. And now let's start the process again. So in order to start the process, we are using this npm start command. When we use this npm start, this start is basically a script. So we are defining that script inside this package.json file. Here we have that start script. So when we say npm start, internally it is going to run this script, this nodemon space server.js. Okay. So here, let me go ahead and let me type that command itself. So here I will say nodemon space server.js. If I press enter, it will start the process. And as soon as the process has started, if I scroll up, we should have something called as node env. And here you can see this node env is set to development. We can even define more environment variables for our project. So again, let me stop the server by pressing Ctrl C. Okay, now let's say I also want to set a variable called x and I want to set it to maybe 100. Okay, if I press enter, this x variable should be set. Let me also go ahead and let me set another variable called y and I want to set it to 500. If I press enter, this environment variable should also be set. Now let's go ahead and let's start the process. For that, I'm going to use this node mon space server dot js command if i press enter okay so you can see the two other environment variables x and y has also been set here and their values are 100 and 500 and if you notice these values are converted to string type okay i assigned a numeric value but here they are assigned as a string value okay and we should also have our node underscore env environment variable which is set to development so many packages on npm that we use for the express development, they actually depend on this environment variable. So when our project is ready and when we deploy it, at that time, we should change this node underscore env variable to production. Okay. So here we are setting this node env environment variable and we are also setting this x and y environment variable. But we can set a lot more environment variables like this. Usually, we use environment variables like configuration settings for our application. That means whenever our app needs some configuration for stuff that might change based on the environment that the app is running, in that case, we use environment variables. For example, we might use different databases for development and for testing. So we can define one variable for each environment and then activate the right database according to the environment, the environment in which the application is running. So if the application is running in development environment, in that case, the development database will be active. But if the application is running in test environment, then the test database will be active. So we can do such kind of configuration settings using the environment variables. Also, we can also use sensitive data like username and password using environment variables. Okay. Now, it's really not practical to always define all these environment variables in the command while starting the application. Right. For example, let's say I have to create 10 environment variables. So it's not practical to create them inside the terminal here. Like we have created this X and Y environment variable. So 
Another way in which we can create environment variables is by using a configuration file. And in that configuration file, we can define all our environment variables. So let's do that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.